hello everyone welcome to skill silent so in this video we will try to create a countdown animation so let's get started i have created a text layer and i have just text it 9 so we'll do one thing we just uh, shift it into a pre comp uh, type 9 and just press ok so there is no animation here so we'll do one thing we just create an animation first a bubble kind of animation we are uh, going to try to create so I'll go in the effect preset and search for balls so CC ball action are uh, here just double click on it and now it's the uh, text is the text or the comp is converted into the balls so i'll do one thing i just uh, open all the properties here so let's see what will happen with these properties so okay this is not we need yeah we need to size like this <coughs> so we have to animate it uh, so we'll do one thing we just Yeah, scaling up the ball size okay now let's see yeah there is scatter so uh, these are too much balls so I'll do one thing I'll just reduce no not reduce the size I have to Increase this thing so okay. <coughs> this is uh, look like perfect for me. <coughs> so I'll do one thing. I'll just create a keyframe here. Uh, Ha, I we have to change this yeah first we will uh, just uh, create a sh key on shutter just press U open the key now go to the uh, one second just uh, again place a key here go to the first key and in the last key just play the value 0 and go to the first key now increase this scatter here okay now we'll see uh, what happens if we change the rotation okay so we'll do it on z direction not that much good we'll try to x or y no we'll try to x and z it's also not that much good y and z it's also not good x y z uh -huh. it's not working no so I think we don't need uh, this 
रोटेशन एक्सिस वाला थिंग ओके एंड व्हाट इज दिस दिस इज इंक्रीजिंग दिस इज इंक्रीजिंग द बॉल्स so we also do one thing that just uh click on the ball size just press u again okay go to the first frame and increase the size as well as we have to decrease uh decrease the balls so for that we yeah we'll use grid spacing just again open the keyframe go to the last frame now jump back to the first frame and increase a little bit so this something this is our animation okay <coughs> the ball size is too high so do one thing just to close it again uh rotation we can also try to use rotation and here we go at this point we just need to do it zero so it will look like this okay uh this is perfect but uh, here we are you know we uh, need to um <coughs> place these all the particles in the complete screen so this is not going to work so for that we should have to check this is the twist angle okay we'll try the twist angle no it's not working mm -hmm. it's also no random not uh something like this yeah this is working i guess it is good so i am increasing the scatter here so let's see what will go yeah this is going on okay so i have to increase the duration so i'll go for 2 minutes let's see ah this is going on yeah and along with that also i need to increase the text size here so i'll do i'll scale it to 150 
okay let's see what is getting here again <coughs> we have increased the uh, scale size so i have to reduce the scatter where are Hmm. Yeah. So uh, again, also I am just decreasing the ball size here. So let's see what is going on. Again, here also we have to uh, decrease the ball size. So we just will uh, firstly will do uh, uh, animation. So the animation will start from this point. So let's uh, do a fade in this layer from here. So there is fade. We'll go for 15 frame and just change it to 100. So this will our animation uh, look like so okay along with that i have to you know convert these keyframes into ease so i will just press f9 yeah now it's looking smooth okay so first step is done now we'll do one thing just uh, uh, the animation starts from there come uh, the the digit is coming at this point so we'll do one thing we just uh, hold this these this animation uh, to two seconds okay and after two seconds we just have to uh, revert these frames so i am just copy it paste it here go to right click keyframe assistance time reverse keyframe. also i have to place this opacity keys to there so let's see what's going on this hold and let's go back Hmm. the rotation is also too high so I have to reduce the rotation here so I'll do one thing I just decrease this rotation to minus 72 so 72 and also I have to change it minus 72 here So this is our first animation okay so I am just cutting this layer here so it's our first animation yeah so at uh, at this point at this point I have to you know uh, place the text here so for that i am just duplicating this layer deleting this effect from this layer okay cut this layer from the first and just have to we just uh, remove the keys okay just uh, go to the opacity and decreasing the opacity to the zero here and just go to uh, 5 or 10 frame forward and changing it to 100 okay this one okay there is a jerk you are seeing and again uh, here at this point we also have to reduce uh, the opacity of this thing so i'm just open the opacity just click it go to the few frame forward and 
convert its opacity to zero so now this is ah uh, now the animation is look like this okay along with that we also you know create a lens flare we can also use a lens flare so for lens flare i just have to create a solid yeah go to the effect and preset search for lens flare okay double click it uh pick this thing and uh place it at the center okay there are uh, so much there are three types of flares uh, available in this effect so i'll just show you this this is the this is the first this is the second and this is the third so i feel like this one is looking good uh, this one is looking too good to me but right now the text is not visible so for that we just have to go to the mode and change it the mode into screen okay now i am i have got the here so i'll do one thing i just animate uh this uh, flare so the brightness so i have to <coughs> yeah so i'll uh, just decrease the brightness to zero select a key here now just go to this frame open the key increase the brightness here okay uh, increase the brightness here and go to few frames forward and again decrease the brightness to zero so the animation will look like this okay so uh, the flare is a uh, delay so i'm just forwarding this thing again it's too fast the flare is too fast so that's why i am uh, see what we are getting yeah along with that i have to reduce this a little bit so let's see yeah this is uh, looking cool for me again i have to you know do some animation in the flare so i'll do one thing i just uh, key place a key on flare center okay now just press u to open that key i am placing that key to here and going to the last point we cannot able to change it so i'll do one thing i'll just change this animation to something like this okay and place that key at the end so this is the animation we have created so yeah this animation is looking cool for me and again uh, it's a plain text here so i'll do one thing we just have to you know uh, drop some bevel in it so it's here and there is style 
go to the bevel and emboss so there is a depth now you are able to see the depth so uh, we'll do one thing we just change the color of this text to something uh, red okay now i'm just opening it yeah see the edges here okay along with that we just do one thing we increase the uh, bevel a little bit more so it will be you know good to Thirteen is too much. I'll go for ten. Uh, ten. I'll go this for eight. Yeah, eight is good for me. So I'll just see one thing. This is the animation. So. Again, I have to uh, check the opacity. So there the animation is starting. So I have to start it from here. Also, I have to reduce its opacity here so I'll just copy these frames and pasting it here and uh, keyframe assistance time reverse keyframe so let's see this one is not looking that much good yeah this is looking cool for me again i have to you know uh, place flare here but in this time i am converting the uh, flare center keys so i am just converting these keys reverse frame so yeah this is looks good for me actually so we have created the first shot okay so i'll just do one thing it's comp one okay so i'm just trimming my comp to this no i now i am creating a comp yeah this is my final comp and i am just placing this text here okay now we have animation here like this and this So I need to uh, create uh, nine numbers here. So I'll just do one thing. I am just duplicating this comp one here. Comp two, comp three, comp four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay. Also, I also have to uh, duplicate this uh, text comp as well. So we'll just do. So we'll do one thing now. We there is a problem now. The text is the next comp is starting from nine, ten, eleven. So I'm just changing this name to one. Now I am duplicating this text as well. 
so first we have to do uh, what we have to do we have to go in the first comp and there is one so we'll go inside the one and type one here okay also uh, we'll do here uh, the go to the two comp and type two here go to the three comp we'll type three here go to the four so we'll change something like some in all these comps six seven eight and this one is also nine so yeah so we have completed all the comps now i have to you know uh, change these change these comps inside of this so uh, we'll do one thing we just open the comp one yeah we need one here so comp two we need here two so we just replace it by selecting it and press alt select this and drag this here so now this is two again we'll go to the com3 and replace it by com3 we'll go to the com4 and replace it by com4 uh, next go to the com5 and replacing this with com5 go to the com6 and doing the same here six seven with seven uh, eight with eight nine oh sorry this one nine with nine all our comms are ready so we just uh, pick all comms and place it here so now i have to just place these uh, comms so the animation will start from nine na? And just yeah so animation will start from comp nine so the comp nine will our will be our first comp and second comp will go for this thing and we need a consistency here na? so also we have to place this here so yeah this one is perfect for me just one frame one frame again one frame again one frame one frame one frame one frame one frame uh, the composition is i have to increase the composition size to go to the composition and i am increasing this size okay so this is our animation is completed now i have to yeah now i have to place my logo here so i'll just do one thing i'll pick my logo yeah i am importing my logo here and importing it at the first frame now i need this animation from five seconds so i am uh, cutting this logo animation from five five seconds and now just select all of these layers and place it here also i need a green screen for you know for your use so i'll go to the last frame select 
press N right click trim comp this was my animation now go to the shape layer place it at above double click on it go to here and change this color to something like green so uh, there is a problem the back black uh, color is coming here so I'll just see what is going on this was perfect but okay there is a problem happening with uh, flare layer when the player is coming the screen is going to black again the same problem is going on so for this what we can do we just copy that green layer and place it here now we'll see this is working yeah it's working here so what i have to do i have to copy this green screen layer and place it into all the cons so my animation is completed now I am just exporting this animation also I'll show you how to you know uh, you can edit it after downloading so firstly I have to export it then I'll show you how you can edit it I am using match source high bitrate to export it. So it will take time, so I am just uh, skipping it yeah so my animation is done now i i've just imported this file into the after effect now just dragging it here so it will become a comp so what you need you need to you need to you know remove this screen so for this go for your effect and preset panel search for key light here just double click on key light just uh, check this icon and go at the green part and check it okay so this is your animation now you can uh, use any background whatever which uh, which kind of any background you can use it here uh, for this one thing i am just creating this background so yeah your animation will be there and also if you want to you know change uh, change if you want to change this color you can also change it by for this there are a lot of options so i am just going for searching for hue and saturation okay now just double click it oh sorry it's in the shape layer so i have to select the video layer and just double click it now just check it and uh, increase the colorize saturation okay yeah it's 100 now i i have to i just have to just uh, fluctuate this amount 
okay by fluctuating this amount I can change its color to anything so if I'll go for if I need a yellow kind of thing so this text will and along with the balls are also the yellow so by this you can change it to you know uh, in any any color you want so that's it for this video and guys it's taking too much time to create these kind of videos uh, there are a lot of efforts are going uh, for these for creating these kind of videos so uh, please subscribe us uh, it's it will be a great help for us to you know uh, building this uh, these kind of content and creating these educational videos uh, thank you for your time bye